Hello, my name is Vinka Puspamulyadi from Korean Studies, Faculty of Humanities, page 2017. Today, I will talk about the cord mixing in the lyric of Korean songs. So, what is cord mixing? According to Nababan on 1984, cord mixing is a condition when someone mixes two or more languages in a language act without any correction. In this modern era, people who speak two or more languages are known as a multilingual society. John, on 2017, state that multilingualism is a social condition that involves a group of people who communicate using more than one language. So, what is the difference between multilingualism and bilingualism? Basically, multilingualism is a condition when someone uses more than one language, including their own native language. Meanwhile, bilingualism is a condition when someone masters only two languages, including their own native language. Nababan stated again that if a person can master two or more languages, that person will often change language and mix the two languages when they speak. So, code mixing and code switching could happen. Then, what is code switching? Is there any differences with code mixing? Some experts state that there is no big differences between code mixing and code switching. But I found one expert named Fasold on 1996. He stated that cord mixing and cord switching has a slight differences. Cord mixing is a condition when someone uses another language word or phrase, then mix it with the speaker's native language. Meanwhile, cord switching is a condition when a speaker uses the grammar of another language. So that's the differences between cord mixing and cord switching, but this research only focuses on cord uh, mixing. The purpose of this study is aims to find out the types of cord mixing used in this in the lyric of Korean song. The data analyzed was collected from the lyric of Korean song on the Eyes One album. And the formulation of the research problem is how are the forms and type of cord mixing found in the song lyric in the one reeler Act 4 by Eyes One? This study used descriptive qualitative method. The data source used in this study is the lyric of Korean song is in Eyes One album. This research also adapts Creswell's research method. There are six methods according to Creswell. First is problem identification. Second, literature review. Third, decide the purpose of the study. Fourth, data collecting. Fifth, analyzing the data. Lastly, conclusion. Theory that is used in this research is cord mixing theory from Suito from 1983. Suito states that there are six forms of cord mixing, namely the insertion of elements of words, phrases, buster, repetition of words, idioms, and clauses. While there are two types of cord mixing, namely outer cord mixing and inner cord mixing. But in this research, I will only focus on four forms of cord mixing that are word element, phrase element, repetition of word element, and clause element. Okay, so let's move on to the main topic of uh, this research, that is cord mixing in the lyric of Korean songs. But before we dive into the main discussion for today, I will explain a little bit about why K-pop songwriters nowadays really love to input another language to their songs. Lee in 2014 stated that there are six reasons for using cord mixing in Korean song. The first reason is to match the rhythm of the song. For the song producers, there, there may be words in Korean that don't rhyme well the whole, the whole lyrics. Therefore, words in other language are inserted to match the rhymes of the song but contain the same meaning. The second reason is to show affirmation of sensuality. In order to pass uh, the censorship, the song producer used words in foreign language to write a lyric with a sexual nuance. However, this method doesn't always work. Third reason is to give an unusual impression on the listener. The fourth reason is a communication media. Foreign language, especially English and K-pop song lyrics, can be a neutral, a neutral medium uh, of communication for listeners all around the world. The fifth reason is the symbol of modernization, and the last reason is to present the character characteristic 
of both language. Now let's discuss about the findings of the research. This section discuss uh, the analysis result of the form and types of code mixing on the song lyric in the and in the album One Realer Act 4 by Aizuan. The analysis includes the form of code mixing based on the insertion of word elements, the insertion of phrase, uh, phrase elements, uh, word repetition elements, and clause elements. Then there is an analysis of the types of code mixing, namely uh, outer code mixing and uh, inner code mixing. In the data source, there are six song titles that has been analyzed. The songs are Missy and Sin, Panorama, Island, Sequence, Oso Lemeo, and Slow Journey. From, from 27 data, I only put two example, uh, one or two example for each element in this presentation to shorten the duration. First, for the word element, the insertion is found in the lyric of the song Miss Ensign, uh, Sequence, and Panorama. But I only put the Miss Ensign um, example. Here, the lyric is... Uh, Sometime yong hua chorom kajang arum daun changmyon gejung si meso. Um, so the writer here put the word sometime in front of the lyric, the Korean sentence, the Korean lyrics. Next is the insertion of phrase element. Um, it's basically the same with the first uh, example, but they put the day by day uh, phrase on uh, the middle of the lyric. So, ne de yegi soge. Day by day, Bontine. So, um, that is from the phrase element. The next is insertion of repetition element. In this uh, album, I only found um, repetition element on two songs, that is Island and um, Slow Journey. So, in the Island song, uh, the repetition is Tonight, Tonight, Molly Tonal Koya. And in a Slow Journey, um, is the word slowly, slowly, nerin mangkem manik kanji kalke. So that is the repetition element, the example of repetition element. Next is the clause element. So it's basically the same with um, before. For uh, the clause is ring my bell. They put it on the last, the last lyric after um, the Korean lyric and all right don't stop in front of the Korean lyric so based on the result of the study the emergence of code mixing found as many as to 27 data of the total 27 data 11, 11 data containing the form of mixed uh, code mixing insertion of word uh, six data of the form of uh, phrase element two data containing the form of uh, word repetition element and eight data containing uh, the clause element uh, it can be concluded that the form of code mixing that most often appears uh, is the insertion of word element as many as 11 data from 27 data. In addition, card mixing that often appears in this study is Korean card mixing into English. All the data in this study are, are all included in the type of outer card mixing because the insertion of uh, the elements contained in each data is an element of foreign language other than Korean language. This, uh, it can be concluded that all of them belong to the type of outer card mixing. So that's all from me, uh, thank you.